Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make blue and white butterflies using shrink plastic. These are little works of magic. I'm going to be showing you how to shape the shrink plastic when it's still warm. So why don't you sit back, watch, see what happens and maybe you might like to have a go. Aha! Stamp using archival ink. There you go. I'm using Sizzix shrink plastic that I've got from Lavinia Stamps and I'm just showing you to use the white side, the matte side of the, the shrink plastic. I've got the Indra Moth stamp which I'm inking up with archival black ink. I'm going to stamp this probably about five times and I've decided I'm going to use the best three. Okay, so here we go. I'm not going to be stamping the antennae and the tail because I will be cutting those out. So if they do stamp and they're not that clear, I'm not fussed. Okay, so this is me obviously working super speedy fast. Ah, magic. I have now done five. I'm like amazing. Here we go. Fabulous. So now it's time to cut them out. With shrink plastic, if you cut it from a very large piece, the weight of the shrink plastic can tear the bit that you're trying to look after so carefully. So I would cut them out into small bits and then do all the fiddly cuts. So I'm adding some colour here using acrylic. That's the periwinkle acrylic spray. And I'm going to use some white acrylic spray as well. Followed by some Posca pens. But first... I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm using a blender and I'm basically staining it and it may look like there's not much on but that's okay because when it shrinks the colours become more intense and that's why I'm staining it. See nothing gets wasted I'm picking it all up off the craft mat and now we move on to picking out the pattern with the Posca pens. Gosh I couldn't have got more alliteration in there if I tried. Okay, so you will probably know that I like dots. There'll be a fair bit of dotage going on. I love just how watching this all sped up shows you how they gradually come to life and they get more uh, definition. That's the word. There we go. Aqua green, my favourite colour. Can't think why. Now they don't all have to be exactly the same. So I've just gone along picking out now with white all the bits that I wanted to pick out on the first one. And down the body with a few highlights, picking out the design. And as you can see, all three are just a little bit different. But that's just magic. Love it. Now, add heat to shrink. So, the most important thing, as you can see, I've written a note to myself saying, let it dry. <laughs> because if you don't, it can lead to various bits not drying and flying off as you dry it. So I'm holding on to this with my scissors or the end of a paintbrush, a scrappy old paintbrush, nothing special. And to shape it, I opened the scissors and pushed the butterfly while it was hot into the open scissors. So now I'm adding some fab foil. What colour have I gone for? Oh, and there's a zig two-way glue pen. Just adding that to the edges, just to give a little bit of blingage. So I'm carefully adding it, obviously. Put that away, dear. It's time to dry it. There we go. So we're going to use the heat gun here, just heat tool rather, just to make it tacky. Yeah. And once it's tacky, then we pick up the fab foil and pop it on, colour side up. I've gone with silver. And there are other lovely colours like ice blue, teal, copper, purple and gold even. I was thinking about using blush. Anyway, so this is it sped up, just to give you an idea of how it works. Ah, 
And then, my friends, that's it. You've done it. Hello. How did you get on? Did you have a go? Did you feel inspired to have a go at shrinkage? Hmm. I hope you did. It is very rewarding because things that look like they are easy to do massive on a large scale, when you shrink them down, they just become this delicate little work of art. As usual, please pop any comments you have in the post below and I will do my very best to answer you. You take care and have a go. Happy shrinking!